Hey YouTube, it's Sean. I'm gonna make a little video here showing you how to clean that front coil on an air conditioner when you uh, either can't take it out of the window or you just plain don't wanna. Um, it's a little messy, but it, it can be done. And um, I'll show you how to make your air conditioner go from, uh, you know, that to uh, to that. And it's the exact same air conditioner, exact same model. Uh, and uh, not all of them can, you can do this with. This, uh, this one has the top clips right here. Some of them have screws, so if they have screws and you got to take that tin cover off, that housing off, then you can't do this. But I'll show you how to do this. Show you what you need to have to do this. Okay, the first thing you want to do is get yourself a spray bottle, a pretty darn good one too, one that you can adjust the nozzle on. All right. Sorry about the camera work. I got a whole go handheld here. Shaky cam. Try not to shake you too much. All right, and then you're going to want to get yourself a little brush and a uh, soft bristle uh, wire brush. And while it's dry, don't spray no water in there. First thing you want to do, though, is I guess the best thing, the way to do is get your. Uh, little thermistor out of the way. This is what senses the room temperature or the incoming air. Get that out of the way. You don't want to damage that. And then this little clip. They all have this. Carefully pull it straight out towards you. And all it does is just go in there like that. You can see where it was clipped around the, co uh, the tubing. All right, you want to get that out of there. All right, and then what I do, you got to be careful and only go down, up, uh, straight down. Don't be going, uh, let me see. Tell it, best way to tell you is you want to go, I'd say vertically. Don't go horizontally. How about that? Just go straight down and you'll collect all the, that's one pass right there with the little brush, okay? So, um, and you want to put a bunch of towels underneath your air conditioner, old rags, trust me they'll be your friend. Just help preserve some of the mess. But just want to go straight down here. Another good thing you could use here is a shop vac. Well, it's well, it's dry like this. You could use a shop vac, but you want to get the, the bulk of the crud crud off of it, and um, and then I'll show you in a minute. Hang on. All right, folks, we got it that far. Okay, I did get the vac vacuum cleaner involved, and um, just sucked all the Furbies out I could get. And I used the little wire brush and did my thing like I was showing you. Alright, the next step you need is that, uh, that spray bottle. And set it for a straight stream. I don't know if I can get you in here enough to show you. It's kind of a tight fit. Let me uh, set the camera up the best I can. Alright, maybe that'll help. Okay? Alright, so you want your uh, wire brush again. What you want to start with is getting this thing to where it's a, you know not a mist you want it to be a, a, a straight and you stick it right as close as you can up against the you don't want it right up against it because you don't want to bend the fins and you start spraying that you start from the top And that just uh, pushes all that garbage through the coils. It pushes it through it on and out. 
And as you're cleaning this, as you're spraying this, you'll see that the coil is starting to turn blue instead of brown. And it'll get bluer and bluer as you clean. And this is quite the process. You want to just take your time and your hand will get tired after a while from spray bottle. But yep, you start at the top and then it'll run down and then help you, it'll help, gravity will help you there. And I can already see it turning more blue than it was. What you're trying to do is force that water through that coil. Yep, you want to try to force that that water on through that coil. I wouldn't recommend using a bunch of cleaners in this and you know getting all fancy with that. I recommend if, if you're going to use the cleaner, you want it out of the window. I wouldn't put cleaner in there. All right, let me keep doing this. And we'll bring you back. All right, folks. Uh, keep spraying with your bottle there like I was doing. But after you get this thoroughly, 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 you know, and it'll be coming out that back of that air, air conditioner outside. That's why you, when you put one of these window units in, you want it tilted towards the outside just slightly. And sometimes quite a bit more than slightly it helps a lot. Because uh, if you don't, all the water is going to come back in. And not just water from cleaning it like this water that it naturally sucks from the uh, room it'll it'll actually drain out the front some so you want it to drain out the back so you want that uh, air conditioner instead of being level in the window you want it outside you want that back end to be down but you get that those that coil really good and saturated and then um, I take my air compressor and I start blowing it. And that's pushing that junk through it. That you can't get otherwise unless you take it apart. Okay, this is the messy part. Let's see if you can get your uh, towel up there. And that's just part the part of the job um, that um, shop vac won't do what this could do. This is pushing the, the rest of the junk that you can't get. It's not on the surface. It's sandwiched in between. It's pushing it out. You get it wet with hot water. Use as hot a water as you can in your bottle. And it pushes it right on through. So let me keep doing this. Hang on. All right, then you turn your unit back, uh, back on. Just turn it on. And you put it on cool. Because you want your compressor to run. And that's going to suck the rest of that water on, all, on the way through. And use your air compressor. I'm telling you, 
That's a way cleaner than it was. Way cleaner. All right. And that's how you do it, folks. Turned it all nice and blue. That coil should be blue. Going handheld. Let's see if we can get you down here where you can see a little better. But that coil should be blue. And uh, we got a whole lot out of it. It's able to work now. We did the same thing with the one up front here. Now they're able to suck the hot air through that grill and blow it outside the way it should be. And there's nice cool air coming out now. Yeah, I noticed something was wrong yesterday. We had a, always oh, 90, uh, roughly 90. And uh, these air conditioners should cool this trailer real good. I mean, combined, we got 10,000 BTU, okay? And um, it was struggling to get it 70 in here. So today's job is just that. And uh, it's working. All right, when you get all done, you put them back together the way you took them apart. And um, on these, I'll show you. They're pretty easy to get back together. Hang on. I'll set you down. See if I can bring you back. Okay. Why don't you guys give me one of those covers, the cleanest one? But turn you around so I can see what I'm doing. All right. Uh, Here's the, uh, shut this off. Here's the top. Now these just have clips. Ah, uh, you can't see that, right? They have little clips in the top. Right there, there's one, and there's one on the other side, right there. And, um, then, um, they just push on. Be careful. Clean this while you're at it, too, anyway. But, um, and then there's two screws, one on each side. Okay? And that's what you need to do to clean your air conditioner. Hang on. I'm going to, uh, finish this job up, and then we're going to take a temp reading. Okay, folks, we're back. And, um... To prevent this from happening again, I'm going to test this out and see how it goes. Took some really thin old bed sheet. I mean, it's I kept it because it's good filter material. I'm going to try it. I put some on the front of that AC right there. And it seems to be sucking um, air in the front grill just fine and blowing out nice cold air out of the out of the vent. So, I mean, it doesn't look great, but this is an old camp trailer, so it should be, keep that cleaner when you go out in the dust, on the dusty roads and whatever. But anyway, I just took some uh, blue painter's tape, testing it out, see how it works. Alright, folks. Hang on, we'll take a temperature reading on the other one. Alright, I turned it on and um, put the thermometer in the grill there. 6.2. It's not too bad. It hasn't been on very long, but anyway, it's effectively cooling now. That's how you do it, folks. Love y'all. Take care. Thanks for watching. Thumbs up. Bye-bye.